kids to sitting on Bondi Beach as somewhat adults, you've always been there for me, so thank you. Even if you live on the other side of the world, literally, I know side by side or miles apart, we're sisters connected by the heart. Just yesterday, it seems like we were kids always on the go. We were proud to call you our sister and we wanted everyone to know. Yesterday is gone now and today is finally here. And as we watch you standing there, we are filling up with tears. Now you're officially his and that's all right because this is not the end. You'll always be our sister and thank God you'll always be our friend. They clearly make each other immensely happy, me immensely happy, and I could not have wished for a better person to become part of the Blaney family. I am immensely proud of both of you. I love you always. Adam, I want to start by telling you how much I love you and how unbelievably proud I am to be standing here today. I love you not only for who you are, but for who I am when I'm with you. I love you for what you've made of yourself, but also what you're making of me. Adam, you're my best friend, my travel buddy, my puppy daddy, and my biggest cheerleader. You make me laugh, challenge me, support me, and never forget to tell, tell me how beautiful or amazing you think I am. With you, I feel like I can take on the world, hence why we flew halfway across it. Above all, I love you. I love, love how you show me what unconditional love feels like. So when life seems easy, and when it seems hard, I promise to love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives together. Lynn, this is far from the beginning of our journey, but I stand here before you today in front of our family and friends, proud of what we've achieved together and excited about the road ahead. When we met, I just remember a sense of feeling that you were like no one else, a breath of fresh air. And ever since, it's you that's most impacted and shaped the person I am today. And as we continue our journey, I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become, to keep supporting you in whatever way I can. And I promise to continue to love you without condition. Me and you is what matters most. Always remember, you're the brightest star and I'm madly in love with who you are. It is my privilege and my pleasure to say that you are now lawfully married. You are husband and wife. Many congratulations, and Adam, you may give your wife a kick. I mean, wow, like honestly, Lynn, literally words can't describe how beautiful you look today. Did you write that down or do you mean it? <laughs> <laughs> Elegance, beauty, like it's, you're just impeccable. Um, oh. And yeah, I think everyone would agree here that I, we're all blown away by how good you look today. Thank you. And we've had such an incredible journey. Like lots of you know, it's been, it's been 14 years uh, since we've been together, but a lot of you might not know, or some of you might not know, that we first met at Stratford College. <laughs> and as I got to know you, like, I completely fell in love with you. Um, like, I fell in love with your beautiful soul, your big heart, your amazing ability to befriend anyone in seconds. It's just like, it's just uh, insane. <laughs> but we've made it through so much together uh, already, so I'm so excited to see what the future has to hold now as Mr. and Mrs. Blaney. Yeah. Um, so everyone, please stand for the final toast. Oh. <laughs> Hold it together. So please raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Lynn Louise Blaney.